I know we want to spread the news everywhere, but kindly just Xerox the one that you have. Let's share. Make a pass so we can get through, please. Woo! <laughs> 
spirit that it's well. And let us look beyond the tears and the lift above the sighing and the crying. And let us really see this today as a victory and a home-going celebration. You, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, you're Jehovah Rapha, you're the Lord, our healer. And our hearts need healing at this hour. Touch right now. Mend the broken hearts, bind up the wounded spirits, and let your glory be felt in this home-going service today. God, we're telling you about our brokenness today. We're telling you about our pain and our misery. And we know that you are the God of all comfort and you use the healing medicine of time and you can heal the wounded spirit and the broken heart. And we need to feel your presence even now. Look upon these daughters and look upon every member of this family. We commend them to your safekeeping. And Lord, look upon our presiding bishop who has the job of telling us where we go from here. Strengthen him. Give him your wisdom. Give him your anointing. Give him your power. We'll give you the glory, the praise, and the honor now and forever in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger, even according to the fear, so is our wrath. So teach us, Lord, the number of our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long, and let it repent thee concerning thy servant. O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all of our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thine works appear unto thy servants and thy glory unto thy children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish thou the work of our hand upon us. Yea, the work of our hand establish thou it. God's blessings on his eternal word. The family has chosen for our comfort, the adequate words of comfort that are recorded and the first letter written to the church of Corinth, chapter 15, beginning with verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality. <coughs> then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the Lord. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my 
beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Bless the mass choir.
talking about a good time? Hallelujah! We're going to praise the Lord. We'll never get back. That we will go to the That we will go hot and every day be just like Sunday. Bishop Lewis Henry Ford and members of the general board, to all of the bishops and bishops, members of the clergy, and all of you who are gathered here today, and especially to the Clark sisters and the entire Clark family. I would like for all officers of the National Music Department and all state presidents and state ministers of music, would you please stand at this time? For the sentiments of those who are present on today and for so many who sent their condolences, we shall always cherish the memory of one of the greatest leaders that God ever gave to Christian, Dr. Betty Light Clark. Dr. Clark, as you rest in beauty for your life of edification, dedication, Commitment and faithfulness, we say, well done. Were your many, many songs of comfort and songs of victory and songs of deliverance and songs of praise and worship, like only you could write, we say, Dr. Clark, well done. For birthing many of the many world-renowned gospel singers, such as Vanessa Bell Armstrong, Elsa Smith, Keith Pringle, James Moore, Daryl Coley, Richard White, and not to mention the world famous Clark sisters, and the list goes on and on. We say, well done. For 25 years as president of the National Music Department, a department that you revolutionized and gave a personal identification as the anointed department of the Church of God in Christ for personally touching each of our lives, lives with your love. We say, well done. For your holiness, your sanctification, your exemplification, and most of all, that special anointing that rested on your life and was so evident in every aspect of your powerful music ministry. We say, well done. And as you pass from labor to reward, from earthly challenges to heavenly bliss, the master is saying, well done, Dr. Clark. Into thou, into the joy of the Lord. Mr. Dorothy Thompson and Chairperson Elder Richard, Mr. Clean White. And of course, it's been requested in the resolutions, there will be resolutions from the National Nurses Department and also Missionary Teresa Miles, Executive Secretary, there will be resolutions. I bless Dorothy Thompson, Elder Richard White. I was sitting here a moment ago and I thought about um, and to my extended family, the Clark sisters, because Sister Clark and I were sisters for over 32 years. Praise the Lord. And I was sitting there thinking, I was looking at the choir, and if you look and you listen to the songs of Dr. Mary Moss Clark, they came from the Word of God. And I thought about it, all the all the songs that she taught us all the preaching that she did in the choir rehearsals and the teaching that she did. I thought about it, I said, well, Lord, you know, you took her, but she's gone on to heaven because the scripture says that when all the preached word has been preached, that the heavenly choir is going to be there. And I said, sis, go ahead and get your choir together. And when you get your choir together, we're going to try to get it together down here. And I've seen her run back and forth through the airports, trying to go to the different churches, missing some of the flights, catching some of the flights. But oh, bless be God, the other day the angel said, come on, Maddie. Said, this is going to be your flight. Said, I want you to come on up a little higher. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Said, come on up where the saints are going. 
Come on up where the blessings are flowing. Come on up, Manny. Come on up a little higher. I want to tell you what's happening right now. God bless Bishop Ford, Bishop Owens, Bishop Anderson, Jeremy Ford, and the board of Bishop Edward Saint. For the past 25 years, Sister Clark and I have worked together. We drove through the airports and it's still in the night. Gloria dropped me off at the airport with tears in her eyes. My children sometimes. And on this side, everybody's crying. And when I would land, sometimes they'd have Rolls Royce and limousines waiting for me. And everybody on the other side is laughing and grinning, saying, Man, we're glad to see you. So, what's happening now? We're sitting here crying. And all the saints are on the other side of that.
presiding mission. Resolution. God is our refuge and our strength. Very present help in a time of trouble. Therefore, will I not fear. Though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, for the waters there are roar and be troubled. Though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, sea loss, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, a holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, and she shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early, Psalms 46 and 5. Oh, yeah. Come in and it's please the Almighty God to take from our midst our beloved President, Dr. Madame Oz Clark. And we humbly bow in submission to the will of God. In her service unto death under the Bishop. John Shear. Be it resolved that she live a good life filled with meaning and purpose, giving always in a true service, touching the lives of untold thousands with her courageous but strong demeanor, demanding the excellence of music expression. She was a lover of young people especially young people that showed promise and a source of encouragement to all who knew her and was privileged to be touched by her. Not only was Dr. Clark a gospel songwriter, an accomplished musician, a skilled choir director, but a dynamic teacher of the Word of God. Some of her favorite hymns were, I know a great Savior, don't you? Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. I shall never let go his hand. Big tribute, the final tribute to her in her hometown. The Bishop Javier Porta, who is the coordinator for the National Music Department, Memphis, Tennessee. Let's receive him. Chandler Owen, First Assistant Bishop Anderson, Bishop Brooks, and to the entire general board, board of bishops, clergy, and especially to this family that I have lived with so closely over 25 years. I'm pleased and happy today to stand as a representative of the Church of God in Christ and a close family member of Dr. Manny Moss Clark and being appointed by Mrs. Ford to come and to uh, coordinate the convention that was held here in Detroit. And I must say that he was foresighted enough to stress the urgency of giving her a salute for 25 years of service. It was the greatest ever, and it climaxed the latest platform, and we'd just like to have him to stand. He indicated that he sang in the choir uh, with Dr. Clark many years ago, back home in Selma, Alabama. He is Monsignor James T. Robinson of the Catholic Archdiocese of Detroit and Rector of the Cathedral of the Blessed, Most Blessed Sacrament here in Detroit. Do you stand, Monsignor? Let the church say amen for him. And now we will have family tributes. And first, in the family tributes will be Pastor Denise Clark Morrison of the Family Fellowship Cathedral Church in Potomac, Maryland, followed by Leo Cullum of Pebble Beach, California. And then we have a special request by the family. 
close out the family tribute. We have many distinguished guests here today. God bless Pastor Morris. Be with my love, my love, my 
you This is where you go You, 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 you go in Where you are going One day to
She said that uh, each of you belong to Christ. Serve him. Whatever you do. And world renowned. Aretha Franklin. Give an honor to God, Clark sisters, pastor, members, and members. I'd like to say to them today, as I so often say, Keep your hands in the hand of the man. He's able and he'll carry you.
great leader to the Clark family and my friends. On behalf of all of the departments of our church who have served with this great leader, missions department. Emma Crouch could not be here, but one of the vice presidents is here from South Carolina. The beloved Mother Rivers. God bless Mother Rivers. The next one is the Other members of the general board, executive men of our church, and all of the credential holders, men and women. I'm so grateful that I'm blessed to be here to share in this great home-going celebration. In the behalf of our national our supervisor, general supervisor, Mother Crouch, I stand along with Mother Oakley to say to this family that we love you and that Madam Clark has always been an inspiration to me personally. I observe her directing, fussing at Twinkie, fussing at the drummer, all at the same time. In the area of the world, please stand as Mother Oakley Carpool. Thank, Thank you, Mother Rivers, and to our presiding bishop, Bishop Ford, uh, first assistant, Bishop Owens, second assistant, Bishop Anderson, all of the general board, all of the ecclesiastical dignitaries here today. Allow me to read this on behalf of our general supervisor, Mother Emma Crouch. My heart and my, my flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm of God anointed. And we were all blessed tremendously through the ministry of music. We thank God for having allowed this respectfully and sorrowfully committed submitted my Mother Emma Crouch, International Supervisor Women, Mother Irene Oakley, Executive Secretary. God bless you. At this time, we bring to you the Jurisdictional Supervisor of the Women's Department of Southwest First Jurisdiction, Mother Regina Edwards. She will come. God bless you. The Lord is good. Isn't he good? They were looking around when the national women came before me. And uh, I was sitting there saying nothing. I just heard their words. Are you going to come? I didn't worry about it because I know who we really are. We are women of authority under authority. And every woman that stood was appointed by one of the fine men that are sitting here. Our own presiding bishop, the Bishop Lewis Henry Board, the second assistant, Bishop Chandler D. Owens, the first assistant, Chandler D. Owens, the second assistant, Cleveland Landis Anderson, and the Board of Bishops, and all men of the cloth. We, the women of the first ecclesiastical jurisdiction where Mother Maddie Moss Clark served efficiently. She was not a woman who worked in the national and forgot about where she got her beginning. Chosen by man. And we must learn to condescend and work with the great men of this grand old church of God in Christ. I Diction, the Bishop J. H. Scherer and pastor of Dr. Clark. Bishop Scherer. Thank you, Bishop Brooks. And, and to my extended family, the Clark family and to our commanding commander in chief, the Bishop L.H. Ford and Bishop Owens, Bishop Anderson and members of the general board, the College of Bishops, and all of these great women who have come. I have the 
rare privilege and pleasure to have Pastor Dr. Clark. She did not only sing, but she supported Greater Mitchell Temple. And I ought to know, I received the tithe. And she was, she was a supporter of the local church. In town and out of town, Dr. Clark supported Greater Mitchell in a financial way. Certainly impressed by the ongoing celebration of this outstanding lady. Greater Mitchell will not be the same without Dr. Clark. But you can rest assured, and we will rest assured, that she has left something that will be a memorial to Greater Mitchell. Hundreds of dollars in Greater Mitchell Temple. Well, bless this family. You have our support and prayer. And on behalf of the area bishops, the Bishop E.J. Wright, we stand Bishop Wright, the Bishop R.L. Jones, the Bishop Lewis, the Bishop Nathaniel Wyoming Wells, the Bishop H.J. Williams, the Bishop Elton Lawrence, and the Bishop Designee Bishop Riley. We have come to announce and to celebrate, celebrate, not just to mourn and cry, but to celebrate that here we believe by testimony that here is a sister who got out of this world saved.
receive the presiding bishop of the churches of God in Christ. Please be seated. I'm sorry, there's a Samani solo. Come, sweet baby. In a moment, you, you understand. I, I, oh, yeah!
We call them Chicago. We're just like them. I think it's the Pope's. Tell you who I should meet, you better meet some of the folks that I've already met. <laughs> Flying home, you know where that song comes from, Lying in a Half Sight? In a tent in Little Rock, Arkansas, we was out in the shadow. Some glad morning, wind this light, but it over an hour And he sat down and started to play. We started coming to church with me. He said, My new theme song is Flying Home. But the fight I got there singing today, y'all looked at me. Her daddy got preached for him when he passed the St. Street Baptist Church. And she's a little girl jumping on my knees in a shotgun house in Memphis, Tennessee. And I was a little rising home preacher in Memphis, Tennessee. He come from for preach for me and make some extra money. I go to say the back and make a little extra money. All right. We're never going to fall out. But that don't mean that I've got to hate what I belong to. And always knock it in. Raise your hand and say, The church of God in Christ. We are on the loop. They say, We're the fastest growing church today in the whole round world. And some of y'all sitting out and want to talk about the little old weak son. I don't have time for that. Now, what made man so great? And what would make all of us great and great? I read this Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah is the strength and my soul. Psalms 12 and 4. The soul says, The Lord is my soul. Say that the Lord, the Lord is my soul. What is a soul? A song is that that you put together and written, either by mouth, hands, or by instrument. It becomes a rhythm of song. Our little boy in Mississippi, my mother used to put the kitten on the song. And when you see it up pretty tight and too much steam would get in it, and the kitten began to make a hoop for the boot to boot, and I'd try to sound like the kitten. The kill even makes a sound as the water ball in it. The pot of pot, pot of turnip greens bubbles over and makes a sound of joy because it's getting ready for the storm. Anything that can sing will find a deliverance set from all forms of pressure. Anything that can sing. The thought with the children of Israel was the reason why they stayed in bondage so long, they got in captivity and asked them to sing us a sign, sign, and show. And they said, How can we sing? And as long as they didn't sing, they stayed in captivity. The power of any race can you keep on saying. Y'all go ahead. And that's what Mary was all about. She had a song, and her song was the love of Jesus. Have you ever heard a tongue girl say at midnight? Have you heard the nightingale ring out when everything is silent? Have you heard the morning mocking birds and the morning blue jay at the hang in the tree at the dawn of day? He began to sing. And since another day, I was down in Mississippi this week and a young lady was running a, a weed eater. And the weed eater was cutting on the banks. And he had to stop and he ran away. We said, what's the matter, preacher? He said, I heard snakes or something in that ditch down there singing. <laughs> I said, what's wrong with you? You're a preacher. He said, well, you come on in. <laughs> I went on the way. Bees and different insects here to stir them. And they just start singing. See, you got to learn when you get the stir, be like Manny was to just say it. Because the song is on the inside. When the singer is on the inside, God. Raise your hand and say, God. Raise your hand and say, God. A few years ago, I was at the point of death, recuperating after operations from cancer. I was 
was too weak to pull the, pull the blinds up by the screen. I couldn't raise my own window. And one morning, just before dawn, I walked over to the window. And a whole tree of birds was out there singing. And as those birds began to sing, I said, my wife, I've never seen them before. And then the Spirit spoke to me, he said, these birds are here this morning. Listen to them real good. And then those birds' voices, I could hear them say, get up. You can make it. Get up, you can make it. Yes. Some of y'all don't know it, but I called Matt on the phone. I went to a house to see him. And Matt always was said to me, Bishop, you can make it. Have you ever heard the song saying you, you can make it? The song said you can make it. But I'm clothing myself. But the song is in you. After a while, it all will be over. And I'm going to look and see a number that can't go there. Oh, no. And I can see him walking. Washing their robes. Making them white in the blood of the land. I can see him crying. And he called to the choir stand. And I can see the directors calling. And I can see Maddie walking out with a baton in her hand. And the men just say, Redeemed. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Say it! Oh, yeah! You girls and boys of the family. Don't say you're left out. You're going to be included in places you don't even know about. We can't forget you. Can I forget my right arm? No. Can I forget my legs? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My song. Sing it. Like Brother Paul, I can't sing. But sometimes, for the Lord to get head on my shoulder, like it was on William L. Dawson, who's a dear friend of mine. He was hungry, his mother just died. And a soul was in his soul. Begins a precious law. Take my hand. Maddie! When the Lord got it, he starts singing, climbing up the mountain. Say it! Yeah! I can appreciate that. all the saints standing on your feet. We don't need suggestions telling the general church how to remember Maddie. We thought about that for some of y'all was born. Ain't nobody pushing us. The election of Mississippi yesterday and pointed out where a great big picture. They should basically go on one side and another narrow on the other with flooded lights. Can I get through here, please? Yes. Okay. A few days ago, E.D. said to the principal of a poor woman down in Missouri, the kind of principal, her name was nowhere we put it there. And his name will go up on the history of the great organizers. But there was only two choirs in the whole brotherhood. Two choirs. One in 421 State Street, and one in Philadelphia was known of. Then I started. Then from the church of the Master. From the church of the Master. Maddie. 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 And Mother of England, Korea, just a few places we just didn't go in 
Why you already there? You'll be always remembered to the family. We love you. Twenty dollars. Share it all of your preacher. Hallelujah. We love you. Brother, we love you. Join the hand next to you now. Get somebody by the hand. Let that brother see we're gonna make it. My oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, Lord, bless this family. Oh, yes. For the near our hundred year anniversary celebration. May we special and memorial remember in this great celebration the souls composed. By this great servant, Patty, most of all, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, please stop. Everyone remain in place. Everyone remain in place. Please everyone, let's pray for this family.